Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on fractions. This is the second video on this topic and we're going to look at a couple more key skills here, starting with adding fractions. So in this example, we've got to add three fifths and one quarter together. So I'll write it out nice and large. Uh, so uh, how do we add these two together? Uh, well, we can't add the fractions together until they share a common denominator. So uh, in this case, the denominators are different. We've got five and four. So we need to make these denominators the same. And the way we do that is we multiply the numerator and the denominator of one fraction by the opposite uh, denominator. So in this case, uh, we multiply this three and the five by the opposite denominator, which is four. So three times four over five times four. And we do the same with the other fraction. So we got one times five over four times five. So uh, we can simplify this now. I'll just stay writing in red. So we've got three times four, which is 12. And five times four is 20. So we've got 12 over 20 for this first bit. And then for this second bit, uh, we've got one times five is just five. And then we've got uh, four times five, which is 20. So we've got 12 plus five over 20, uh, 12 over, over 20, sorry, plus five over 20. So that's equal to 17 over 20. So that's our final answer. Moving on then, let's have a look at subtracting fractions. So this is a very similar skill. Again, we have to find a common denominator here. So uh, in this example, we have four over five minus one half. And so to find our common denominator, we use exactly the same technique as before. Uh, so we multiply the numerator and the denominator by the opposite denominator. So this becomes four times two over five times two and the other one becomes one times five over two times five. So uh, let's deal with this first fraction. So four times two is eight and five times two is 10. So we get eight over 10 minus, let's look at the second fraction now, one times five is five and two times five is 10 as well. Uh, so we've got our common denominator now. So we've got eight over 10 minus five over 10. So we just subtract the numerator. So we get eight minus five, which is three over 10. So our final answer then is 3 tenths. So if you're feeling ready to test yourself on this topic, you can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform. And if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at. Uh, so all of them you'll get instant feedback on. So it's a really good way of keeping track of where you're going wrong and where you need to improve. So this will help you prepare for your exam. And if you're interested, you can take the test by clicking the link below.